Ali Tuesday morning was both a happy and a sad moment for Kenyans as they marked the 54th Jamhuri Day since independence. At least 16 people have lost their lives in that horrific multiple crashes at the notorious Sachangwan black spot on the busy Naikuru and Lore Taiwei. <laughs> The lorry driver who was headed to Naikuru lost control and rammed into 13 other vehicles among them 5 public transport vehicles and several private cars. It was reported that the series of collision involved more than 13 vehicles, including them a modern coast bus headed in the opposite direction. That bus took the worst of the impact. <laughs> Sio ishirini, karibu mnia. Wale wako hospitali sahi ujui kama watapona. Na hiyo achali tu. Wewe unafikiri mtu wa kilogoto wa mara kando, mugu kando, kichwa kando. Sinia, naona hiyo maneno ni ngumu sana. The accident taking place at the notorious Sachangwan black spot. Initial reports, however, indicated that the lorry driver had been escaping the NTSC officers before losing control. But the authority denied the reports. Not true. And the other thing that we have checked, we have called actually even this driver from Easy Coach, who has collaborated the same information, and actually said, why it not for the effort, effort of our officers, the situation could have been more serious. Now claims from residents and authorities here, most of these accidents happen due to recklessness. This, however, raises concerns due to speeding and dangerous overtaking. Closely touched by the death of over 60 Kenyans within the last one week, MPs took the matter to Parliament to debate on the current issue. We need street lights at that particular, very urgently. We need to have that clear area so that people can be able to see uh, what's, what's ahead. But uh, we need to build uh, what we call landing crash, uh, landing uh, ramp, landing ramp which is uh, made of the sand. NTSA have been very useful to a large extent, but sometimes, of course, also, uh, they would contribute, maybe uh, indirectly, and, uh, of course, uh, we really don't want to blame them because they've been doing a good job. But in the last few days, there has been complaint generally in those areas that they placed speed gadgets in many parts, and when a vehicle passes, they chase. When they give a chase, sometimes we could have uh, vehicles that can cause accidents as a result of that. Mr. Speaker, we are losing lives. If it's the issue of widening the lens, so be it, Mr. Speaker. If it's the issue of a flyover, so be it, Mr. Speaker. If it's the issue of diversion, so be it, Mr. Speaker. And we are requesting this house to move with speed, to have the Committee on Transport, so that it can look into this matter and we have clear ways of resolving this. Uh, but we, we do need to get uh, a dual carriageway in the beginning, just affecting the critical areas. Let us not say that once we want to do a carriageway, let's now start in uh, Rironi and run it all the way to Toto. And as the festive season approaches, the government have been asked to take measures on ways to cap these road accidents. But the big question, however, remains. How many more innocent lives are going to be lost on these killer highways? Ahmed Muhammad, JZTV at Sachangwan, Naikuru County.